hi and welcome back to my channel today I've got another project for you using products from BB craft now I'm in a bit of a mess so excuse my messy fingers because I've been experimenting but I think I have found um, a good solution now today we're using these beautiful sequin um, sequin strings from BB craft I'm just gonna finish opening them okay so these are one of the products that I picked and it's a simple thing and um, you know you don't see many people using these much anymore and I thought I want to have a go at distressing them um, taking the shine off making them look old for junk journaling so um, that's that was my purpose for picking these products now if you want to um, pop down below all the products for BB craft will be down there that I chose um, and also BB craft has a YouTube program where if you've got more than 100 subscribers you may be eligible to to showcase some of their products for free so um, yeah send BB craft a message and see what see what comes about um, it's really fun to um, have a look through their products and, and pick some things and, and do something with it. So um, today I'm showcasing these sequin threads. Um, there'll be on screen a 10% discount code, Valita10. And at checkout you can put that in and get 10% off. But all those links will be below, so go below, have a look check out BB Crafts products and um, go from there okay so I think I've done all the housework that way now I'll get going with the fun stuff <laughs> now what I want to do is distress these I've been I've got together another journal and it's got three signatures in it and it's got a lot of old sort of stuff in it you know it's yeah it's that sort of sort of themed journal that I'm doing. I'll get started and I'll cut some lengths off. Now I'm going to do a piece of each colour. Alright, some other products you might need to do this, which you'll, if you're a junk journey, you'll have it all in your stash. Um, I just needed a palette knife, some tweezers, um, yeah, the scissors. Um, what else did I use? I used um, an archival ink. Now, this is a really old one, so I thought, well, I might as well use some of that up because it's a Ranger brand um because i don't think i could find the pad yeah i couldn't find the pad so i only had the ink i also have a yellow alcohol ink color and i've also got some texture paste or you could use some white gesso so they are the colors that you'll need you'll also need um, a little sponge or something okay and you need your heat gun now um, just a word of warning if you're doing this this will give off some sort of fumes because it's a plastic so working a ventilated area I've got my window open um, that way towards me and I've got a fan blowing that way so I'm well ventilated or you could put a mask on and um, yeah so they're all the things that you're gonna need now to start off I'm just going to, whoops, I'm going to, I tried the hot water method. I had looked up a little bit online and someone put some in some boiling water, but it did absolutely nothing to them. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Um, I think they just make it out of too good of things these days. <laughs> so, yeah, it did nothing. And then I thought, oh, well, I could put it in the oven. And then I thought, well, why put it in the oven? when you've got a heat gun <laughs> so that was my go-to then so what I'm going to do is just squirt some archival ink 
around the joint. I'm gonna get in there and just, oops, this is a, like a baking paper thing that I got off AliExpress. I've been using all those papers and I just want you to mix all that around. Okay, so I'm gonna get the color on things. I wanna change the color of things. Make it look a bit grubbier, you know. Like it's been handled a lot. Move it around. If you don't want to get this on your fingers, put gloves on because it does stain. <laughs> I'm gonna um this will be on me for a few days now. <laughs> so yeah, it does stain. Put a little bit more on. If mine's gone sick, I've had it for a long time. So if yours is thinner, just judge it. Judge how much you want to put on. Okay, you can see already that it's turned pretty grimy. Okay. Now, what I want to do, I'll just get a little bit of that off my fingers. Now I'm going to bring the heat gun in. Okay, and I'm just that's what your tweezers are for. Try and keep everything in the one spot. Oh, I'm going to plug it in if I want it to work. Um, and we're going. What the heat gun is going to do is just change the shape of them a little bit. Um, I don't want them perfectly round. I want some of them to shrink a little bit and just be different. That they're starting to some of them are starting to change a little shape you can see some of them changed look at this one this one looks pretty cool loving how this one looks on a string I think they're looking really good now you can see how um, some of them have changed their shape they've gone a bit wiggly they've um, shrunk back they've um, see the how they've shrunk in one place and not the other you can see that there and um, that archival ink has dried on them now from here I wanted to distress them even more so I'm going to put some this is my homemade texture paste it's lasted me for ages where's my palette knife for? lasted me for ages I think that's back in one of my videos I'm not sure how far back I'll try and link it but um, I'll get some of that out Oh, what I want to do is just, I might just grab all the ends. Alright, once that's dried, I'm going to bring in some yellow alcohol ink.
Okay, and now I've got some beautiful altered sequins, which I'll put, I'll put down here. You might be able to see them better. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, you can, can sort of compare them to this. Well, if I pick up that colour and compare it, it has changed the shape and the colour quite dramatically. Okay, so let's make something with this. I've got, um, because I want to put some of it into my... Um, junk journal and I've been working with some of all these things I got from Timu all these baking bits and pieces um, I've got a um, what do you call these a <laughs> filter I've got a filter and I want to put it on um, there's a piece of card I just wanted to put it on a piece of card so that it sits flat. So I'm just going to just roughly cut a circle. Doesn't need to be exact at all. Okay, and I'm going to put that down. Put some distress ink in. What else do I need? Some glue. So I'm going to glue this on. I'm going to put it on here. And I've got two layers on here because I want to um, just make it a little bit more substantial. Okay. I want to distress the edges. And with that, um, you can see it picks up the ruffle on the, um, the filter, which is pretty cool. I've also got um another um baking thing which is a patty pan now i've put two yeah i think i've put two layers together on here too i wanted it to stay thick because oh no it's three layers there because i want it to be a tuck spot okay So I've glued three patty pans down and then I've folded it not quite in half like that. Okay, and I want to stick that there. I may have to stick that there with some better glue to I want to go right over. Alright, I want to stick that maybe there. Oops, like that. And it's it's meant to be grungy. I want it to be grungy. Um, so that's going to be a tuck spot. I better glue that in a little bit. And that's going to be a tuck spot that's going to be a tuck spot okay then i've got a picture here of some ladies um i'll glue them down
I've got some trim, which I'll probably put out that way. Feel that. Put some trim down. doesn't come off. <laughs> okay, we've got some trim on. Then I'm going to pick one of these, which might, purple might look good. use the silver and that's going to go down next to the trim now you could use it either way you could use it so that you sh you see the thread which I might do and it looks like you've sewed it on or you could use it the other way the normal way So I love sequins, sparkly things, but you know a lot of it didn't suit the vintage look, which um, was a bit disappointing. So, but this way, I think we've found a solution. Okay, so that's going to go down there. So I've got where did I put it? So I've got like a tuck spot here. A tuck spot here. When I glue that on the page, that will be a tuck spot as well. So, just going to distress a little bit around here. I also want to use, I'm not showcasing them in today's one, but I'll use some of these. These are, will be in my next video for BB Craft. These um, stencils and these stamps and I'll be doing some um, some mixed media with them I want to just have a look at these I might stamp stamp some on oh, they need to come out of the page yeah they're really pretty I might choose this rose one and give that a little condition which I do to new stamps just takes off whatever's factory helps the ink to stick to it and let's ink it up give it a little go Sometimes new stamps take a couple of goes to get them working. See, it's getting better. Alright. Um, I might put this one on it. Just going to um, just put a little bit on here. Um, what else? I'll put a little bit more up here. 
Okay. It's a very fine one. You don't see the details that well, but that's okay. Um, what else? We've got some I need some I've got some word stamps here. Where are they? My go to that I always chuck on things. Like that. And I sort of like it like that, but I hmm. What else does it need? Maybe some darker edging. Alright, I sort of like that. Oh, I think that'll look good enough. And when I've, um, I could also put a little word, word stamp on it. Let's put this one on it. This one says memories. And I might do... Do that in black. A piece of paper. I always do a couple before I pick which one that I'm going to cut up. See the first one, then the second one always turns out better. Oops. So I <laughs> always do that. And. And then where's my scissors? I'll just cut that out. down I'm really yeah really dirty today <laughs> Alright, let's move all this stuff in the way. And I will... I'll just move this dirty board out of the way. And I'll bring in one of my signatures and we'll put this in. Hopefully it will fit. Ooh, it's going to be close. It doesn't matter, we can cut a piece off. So some of these things I've used in here, like these paper, these paper um, air fryer liners, um, 
What else? I haven't um I haven't sewn anything in or anything yet. I've also got what's that on my finger? Um this paper. This sort of quickly lunch paper. Um so I might um I just want to see where it will look good. Let's come back up to the front. Oops. Juju, not stuck yet. I might just put it on this second page. I like these dots. It's some of my tea dyed paper. Make sure I've got it in the right crease. Right. I might cut just a little bit off here to fit it on. Probably just a little bit more. Right. Yeah, that'll look good on there. And what do we need? Glue. We'll bring them all back in so you can see them. And that moved it again. Yeah, stay still. Alright, so just keeping in mind this is going to be a tuck spot, so... Well, it would help if I opened it. <laughs> So I'm only putting glue just on that inside strip. Take that down. And then, where did I put those envelopes that I showed you? And then I can tuck something into here, something into here. A smaller thing and another smaller thing into here. So that's three. Three tuck spots there and there and a bigger one there. Alright, so that's what I've done with my um, aged sequins all right so that's my um, project for today using these beautiful um, sequin trims from BB craft and what I've done with them is just alter them to make them look older it's a bit hard to see on that um, on my hand It's hard to see in that light too, isn't it? Well, if you compare them to them, they're quite different. <laughs> so I'll bring this up and you might be able to see this one. So that's how I altered my sequin. I really like the silver. The silver probably turns out the best. The silver and the, um, the uh, coppery colour. But you can use any colour to do that. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this technique. Give it a go. Um, yeah, just remember to put that in a well ventilated, do that in a well ventilated area. I've got the fan blowing through a window here, so um, it's blowing it all sideways for me. And um, yeah, give it a go at home yourself. So I'm going to um, 
love and leave you now and if you're interested in any of the BB Craft products all the links will be below for BB Craft thank you BB Craft for giving me these sequins to um, do things with when you can do anything with the sequins you can look at my hands oh gosh ah, I better um get some alcohol on them and wash them off look you can do anything with the sequins I know um, I'll probably do more with them in some of my beading and things like that but I specifically wanted to see if I could age them and that's the project that I've done today and I'm happy with how they've come up if you can think of anything else you could put on them maybe um, I don't know maybe there's something you can put on them to take the color off because I have seen color come off sequins before but um, yeah but they were the things that I chose anyway to, to do that with the, the archival ink and some yellow alcohol, some texture paste. Um, if you want to try the gesso as well, um, just get in there and have, have fun with it. Have fun with it. I'm really happy how it's come up. And um, yeah, so if you're new here, this is me showcasing some products from BB Craft and they are the sequin threads and I have altered them to make them look aged so I can use them in junk journals, vintage junk journals and um, I hope you um, have enjoyed that <sighs> what else, <laughs> I've got to think what else um, if you want to subscribe, like, share, all that sort of stuff I'd appreciate that, I appreciate all my new subscribers Look leave me a comment below let me know what you think or how they I could alter them any different way because there wasn't much on the internet to sort of go by and I'm, I've, I'm just experimenting all right um, I hope you enjoyed that you're having a happy day and I will see you soon for a new video don't forget my coupon code Belita 10 up here on the screen when you go to check out go through my links <laughs> and um, put Valida 10 in at checkout you'll get 10% off your own products all right that's another BB craft video done and I'll catch you soon for a new one the next one coming up will be my um, yeah like I said it'll be using these stencils which are really cool and these these stamps and I'll be doing some mixed media with them. Alright, bye!